Did you know? Ezer Rifekanem, the priest king of the ancient Tinri kingdom of Yubo land, was a highly intelligent and scholarly king who traded with other kingdoms, including Egypt, Ethiopia, India, and as far as Babylon, now Iraq, and the Middle East, according to Igbo oral tradition. His reign started in 1043 and ended in 1089 when he died. In 1959, his grave was unearthed by a British archaeologist, Charles Thurston, who lived from 1914 to 2013, who discovered a burial chamber with remains adorned in robes, bronze crowns, scepter, staff, and breastplates adorned with precious stones that were evidence of a sophisticated Igbo civilization from the year 948 AD. This brief history was uh, presented or sourced by Igbo history. That's where we got it. Of course, this will show you how great Igbo, or should I say Biafra's, the civilization, we had when the kingdom of Igbo, kingdom of Biafra, started bubbling and hurling back in the years of 1043. You can understand, wonderful people, men and women of good conscience, Lovers of freedom all over the globe, we welcome you back once again to our News Digest at this day, the 28th day of August 2022. Today is Saturday in the year of Elohim Chukwokika Biyama. Of course, we must say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. This is still Nikki Bobby, where we bring your reliable news across Biafra land. Of course, we want to use this opportunity to thank all of you. You all who has been joining and following us to grow this community, our returning subscribers, we thank you so much for joining and following and for always tuning in uh, to attract information that are necessary. We appreciate you for your comment that you've been making. And together, Nikki Bobby is growing to grow to the largest community, or should I say one of the largest community of beer friends who really interact and share our opinion. Of course, for the new ones, we want to urge you, if you like what we are doing here, uh, do not hesitate to subscribe to our channel so that you will help to grow the community as we are on this march, on this move, uh, to bring you the best that we can offer. Do give us thumbs up should you like what is going on here and as well as to share our videos to those who might need it. Today is another good day that brings about uh, glad tidings, uh, good news that we are bringing to you. With heart full of our gog and excitement, we are bringing you the good news that Mama Biafra has regained her freedom from the hands of the SS. Of course, you have to recall that the last outing of Mazin Namdekano in the courts was the day, it's about three months now, that the DSS decided to, should I use the word, kidnap Mama Biafra? And why I say so is for these four months, DSS has been holding her without charging her to court, without doing anything meaningful, they just held her. And upon breaking this news to us, our barrister, Barrister Fanny Jofor, wrote and said, Umuchineke, Umuchineke, Umuchineke. I am very delighted to inform you all that Mrs. Mrs. Okamaka Ejezie Mama Biafra has regained her freedom. She is now out of the SS dungeon, of course. And this is the situation. All of us are happy. And the barrister Ifanye Jaffa continued to make the promise that they will never relent as they have continued working for the freedom of all the people of all Lomuchineke that are being held in the DSS dungeon of the Zoological Republic. He said that very, very soon that even Mazen Namdekano, our indefatigable leader, will be out. Of course, they continue soaring and working so hard. This is good news that we bring to you. On following doubts, it's an invitation by IPOB Worldwide. They are inviting every Ezebu Muchineke, whether you are an IPOB, whether you are a Biafra, whether you are a supporter of Biafra, whether you are a lover of freedom across the globe. IPOB is inviting you to write or to call the Oxford University Organizers of James Corey University Festival Organizers to abort the invitation that is being extended to her pose of them as regard to this event. I'm going to read verbatim for you to receive the information the way it is. IPOB UK have written a protest letter demanding the immediate withdrawal 
of the invitation offered to Mr. Hope Ozodem, the Supreme Court Governor of Imo State, to attend James Korea Literary Festival scheduled to be held at the University of Oxford on the 1st to 3rd of September 2022 by Dr. Onyeka Mwelwe. In addition to this section, we will like to solicit the help of all Ezebo Mwafibo to email slash tweet or call the dedicated complaint phone lines to put pressure on the University of Oxford Authority to prevail on the organizers of the James Korea Literary Festival to withdraw the invitation of FAD to Hope Ozodema. We should not allow Mr. Hope Ozodema to be honored in the UK after all the crimes against humanity and atrocities he continued to commit against our people in the United States. Recall that he recently supervised uh, the deleting of about 14 innocent Igbo youths that we are coming back from a wedding ceremony in our mama in all the Imo states. Of course, it was more than 14, so about 21 in general. While our people continue quoting 14, is that they do not include the Okada people who we are equally deleted. Including all of them, it's about 21 of them that hope was of them deleted through the version of a bag. Below is the contact, the email contact, another contact you can use to read the organizers of the University of Oxford. I see in terms of this James Korea and event that they are doing. Of course, here is the uh, contact number, or should I say, contact of Dr. Onyeka Mwelwe. He is one of the organizers, or should I say, he is the organizers of this particular literary festival, and as well as the visiting lecturer. You may additionally take uh, to Twitter to protest Mr. Hopos at the mass invitation using the following handles. I paste it here. Please be civil when you call or email or tweet, but clearly state your objection to the invitation of Mr. Hopos at the mass to the event holding on the 1st to 3rd of September 2022. Reference the IPOB protest letter dated 15th of August 2022 to Dr. Onyeka Mwelwe and copy to University of Oxford Vice Chancellor, the Executive Manager to the Vice Chancellor and the Director of African Studies Center at the University, among others. Your participation will help us to quickly read the statutory number of calls to trigger the complaint protocol of the University of Oxford. Hence, the authority will act promptly to withdraw Mr. Hopos of the Ma invitation. May Chukukika Biyama bless you as you participate in this call campaign and may the souls of our departed brothers and sisters, Mr. Hope Ozodema has sent to the early grave. Rest in peace. Physical protest telling loading. Please share widely. Dialogue. Thank you, Dr. Onyeka Ekikwe, IPOB UK DNC. Of course, this is that. Earlier, this uh, Onyeka Mwelwe has really gone to the embassy to learn this complaint. He has gone to Oxford University to as well learn complaint. Tagging. IPOB as a prescribed group. That is why he is fronting before them that IPOBC is, pro is prescribed in Nigeria and that they have been writing letter threatening. This is a white lies. A man of this caliber who claim, but well, of course, you will know that for any man to rise up any day, any time, say that he is inviting her opposer the man to such function, that man's character should be questionable. Yes. That is why from the first day that I heard that this man is inviting Hope them for such function, I said that man should be looked into. He should be investigated because he could probably be one of the people that are circulating articles that are not worth, worthy to be circulated. A man who called himself a scholar will descend too low to invite Hope them in such situation. And at the same time, he is going writing, publishing, saying that IPOB is prescribed and that they are that ipob is threatening him that's what he's saying of course you know that uk never allowed that they never admitted that ipob is prescribed it's only the zoo and such a fuleful onyeka mwelwe that way be galavanting saying that ipob is idea so why are you inviting her the he went on to say that he need money if IPOB will give him money that he will not invite IP, uh, Hope Ozodema, imagine 
And tomorrow this is somebody that will come and say that he is representing Igbo people. This is somebody, the caliber of man who will come up and say that he is representing a nation. He is representing a community. Somebody who doesn't have dignity. Because of money, you will need money from who opposes them. And that's why you are inviting, you are inviting him. And you don't even you don't even bother, you don't even care about the people, the youth, what they are going on, what all of us are going through in the state. You don't care. What matters to you is the money. You need the money. If one will provide you the money, you don't care, you will stop inviting helpers anymore. Well, let's see how it goes. And that is why IPOB is inviting every meaningful Biafra, whether you are an IPOB member, whether you're a lover of Biafra and freedom movement, whether you are a lover of freedom across the globe, it is necessary that you key in and let the organizers of this Oxford University, of these James Correa's events, to know what is going on, that this man is not worthy to be there. It doesn't matter where you are coming from, but for there to be dignity to take place, it is necessary that you reach out. We thank you for listening. And this we brought to you. And we want to say again that it is in Biafra land that all of us have our citizenship and our team. Biafra is fully restored. We will not rest. We will continue doing our best.